Bonjour. It's time once again to go racing here in Montreal, the second largest French-speaking city in the world and home since 1978 to the Canadian Grand Prix. With top speeds of around 210 miles per hour heading into the overtaking opportunity of turn 13, the 2.7 miles of the circuit Gilles Villeneuve are some of the quickest on the Formula One calendar. There are 14 corners in total, with 60% of the lap taken at full throttle, and average lap speeds clock in at about 130 miles per hour. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Iceman lines up on pole position, and it's Valtteri Bottas that completes the front row. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Norris, Vettel, Charles Leclerc and Verstappen, Perez, Albon, Stroll and Daniel Ricciardo, Ocon, Hamilton, they've taken a grid penalty, George Russell and Kvyat, Grosjean, Magnussen, Kimi Raikkonen and Antonio Giovinazzi, Latifi and Pierre Gasly picks up the final grid slot today. Now. OK, I know it's your home Grand Prix, but treat it like any other race. Don't take unnecessary risks. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to yet another episode of F1 2020 Career Mode. So today we are at our home Grand Prix in Canada, uh, in uh, unique Montreal. Um, and we actually quite well in qualifying. I'm really surprised. Really surprised. We were uh, pretty close to Lana Norris, and we could kind of just push through all the corners. Uh, did a little bit of cutting. I think that's what kind of helped us, and we landed first. So I guess as long as we can get a good start here, then we should be good to go. Uh, looks like we're running two stops, softs, and two sets of mediums. Uh, it should be good. We have a, we're running our custom setup, but let's go ahead and. Just all right, so now we just gotta get a good, clean start. Hopefully, get ahead of Valtteri Bottas here. I understeer. Copy that. That was some crazy understeer there. the fastest lap of the race. Keep this up.
to take button more, it's time to utilize some of this energy. engine modes are available. A bit of an oversteer there. Engine is looking a little worn. Power output will be less than optimal.
exit window open. Let's box this lap. All right, let's box this lap so we can create a little bit of a gap from Bottas here. We've been hovering around the 7 tenths mark all these laps against Bottas here. So he's sticking with us quite easily. Can't really shake him. We are pulling away from the rest of the pack though. Come on, this one is going straight into the pits. Okay, so Bata's going to go for another lap. See if we can get up, uh, if, she, if we can get ahead of him. Go, go, go. Hopefully my, uh, I guess, I'm not sure if we can really call it an undercut, but. Stay clear of the white line on the exit. We'll receive a penalty for dangerous driving if you cross over into the track. Push, push, push. Let's watch our front wing. Got him on the outside. That's what I like to see. Made to the pits. Is coming in for a stop. Is Bowser not going yet? There we go, I think that's about there. You're gonna go into the, to the pits right there. Bottas is in the pits, he's coming out. Okay, some information on Bottas. They're slowing down. It seems like there's some kind of problem with their car. What's going on with Bottas? The car behind has boxed for the mediums. Car behind on the medium tire.
Seems like seems like his butt has the spine. We're at plus one lap of extra fuel. Fuel target plus one. teammate by 10.0 seconds. Weather report. Watch the conditions. We think there's rain coming pretty soon. Dries seem like the best tire for now. Looks like we might be having some rain here soon. Looking at the clouds, I know we're supposed to have rain about 10 minutes. In around 10 minutes' time, that's what. Jeff told us, but that was a while back, and the clouds looking are looking like we should be having some rain here soon. Create some gap between Bottas here a little bit. We have enough gap anyway, but just in case, you know, if we get caught in the rain. The track is looking cooler already. Let's save the rest of our overtake for until we really need it, or unless we really need, we need to create a gap. Gotta watch that sausage curb. That's the second part of the chicane there. A few remaining. Is that a little bit of rain? Yep. 
That is rain that I see coming down. Can we live on mediums for another three laps? Slicks. These conditions are making the line a bit greasy, but we're still nowhere near the changeover point. Three point three seconds behind me, okay. Three laps to go. I can see a little bit of a breaking distance thing there. Ooh, Bodas catching us up quickly here. Let's save our overtake for this last stretch here. Should I keep him away from DRS range is the main thing. Three more laps, come on. I'm feeling a little bit of slip there in that corner. All right, we have a barrier a little bit between us and Bottas, even though it's a it's a back marker, it still helps. of fuel remaining. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. Oh, breaking zone there. Yeah, final lap, let's go. The car behind is dropping back by about three tenths a lap. So just keep your concentration out there. All right, looks like this is going to be our another win. Another win for McLaren. Yes, this is how we do it. That's a race win. You've really been great today.
Another win for McLaren, another win for us. That is so good. We got this. Driver of the day, Lewis Hamilton. Why was Lewis That's Hamilton the driver of the day? Canadian Grand Prix, and they've hung on to take a sublime victory here today. Started first, qualified first, finished first. Oh, that was a rough race. That was a tough race. Talk to me. But that was what good. What do you think it was that sealed the win for them? I'd say it was down once again to good, consistent driving, nailing the corners. Do we have the Norris third place? The team strategies. They got all of these things right today, and the results speak for themselves. Our winning drivers are on their way to the podium right now. It's been a oh yes, Lando Norris, my sure. boy. And no doubt they'll be celebrating tonight. McLaren's moving up in the constructors' field. This is how we do it. Bottas was just pressuring me nonstop. I was nerve-wracking with Bottas. Let's see how the driver standings have changed. One thirteen two. Valtteri Bottas further solidifying his lead Five. at the top of the table. Now let's discuss Ants. Who would you say is a mm. contender for driver of the day? Well, for me, it's got to be Lewis Hamilton. The multiple world champion may be the boring choice at this point, but you can't argue that he's a driver deserving of his reputation. It's time to check out the constructors' standings. Mercedes continue to extend their lead. There was also a strong showing from the McLaren team. One thirteen. Yes, we definitely closest one was. Bottas, well, I to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined that us. That was pretty quick. We'll see you for the yeah. Lewis Hamilton must have had a little bit of issues. I guess, yeah, he did start with a penalty, so that's the thing. Uh, standings wise, we have. Still, I'm still sitting in third. Lando moved up. Constructors, we moved up to second. Sick. That's awesome. All well, his hood advances. Let's go through our interviews. Great work out there today. Let's have your thoughts. How are you feeling after that win? I'm elevated. Team R2, they put a lot of work in getting I feel great in the rest of the department. Durability department. Uh, I think arrows really helped us here for sure. You're beating all expectations. Would you say we all underestimated you? Uh... It's more than a sum of its parts. We work together. Magic happens. <laughs> Not really offended because I was a rookie, but. Did you feel comfortable in the wet weather today? Uh, I was rich, but I had a great team behind me to mitigate that. No. <laughs> no, I hate the rain. That's regardless, though. Uh, yeah, let's do this. It wasn't too bad. A little bit of slip. How do you feel seeing your teammate up on the podium? Oh man, it's awesome. Uh, it's a little bit for me. They got my back. That's the way to go. Good answer. Great. Well, that's everything. Good answer. Good answer. All right. So we're. Oh yeah. Here we go. A rivalry so far against Maxi. Seven to three. Not too bad. Six races remaining. Driver claim up to seven. And I know we have a few things in the works for um, parts, I believe. Hopefully they'll be done before the next Grand Prix. Yes, they will be. Uh, but let's have a look at our... What are we, again, 21 days of contract, blah, blah, standing. This is what we're looking for. Uh, season results. There we go. That's... that's Three podiums, three first place, nice. That's Netherlands, Azerbaijan, Canada. That's not too bad. We've had more first place. Oh, we were tied with Bottas for first places. Uh, Landon Norris has been consistent, slowly moving up, which is great. Um, DNF Monte Carlo, DNF in Australia. Uh, but either way, that was a very, 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 very good race. Uh, and that will call it the end of the episode. Thanks everybody for checking out this episode. Uh, if you want to tune in more, hit make sure hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you guys next time. Later.